Hello, Zoe. It's Christian, and it is Sunday, my new day thing. Yeah. As the viewers, if we have any, will know, this Zoe did not post a video last week. Well, she did try, but she had some troubles. So, she'll try to post it as soon as she can, but until then, I am posting my next video. She did give me a challenge, however. It was, I had to tell you about the five strangest things in my house. I'm going to do that now. However, she you got to tell me if that was all my stuff or the house's stuff. So I'm going to show you five items. Well, no. I can't because some of them are in storage. But tell you about the items. Or show you the ones I can. And I will also tell you about items that would change if, I could, if it was about the whole house. Okay. Let's begin. Item number one. This is a coin purse that I use. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's a coin purse I, can use, I use. It is from Uzbekistan. My grandparents were missionaries there, and they gave me it. Yeah, which is kind of awkward occasionally though, because it's used for Uzbekistani women use it. And it occasionally gets some weird looks when I pull some change out of there. It's when I, it's when I pull, keep all my change in pretty much. So if I'm out of dollars, I'll just take my a bunch of quarters in there and stuff like that. Occasionally it gets awkward, but it's kind of funny too. Number two, this. My, my, my least strangest is a rock. Normal looking rock, right? Well, no. It is a meteorite based rock. Well, not really. It's rock that was hit by a meteorite and like spread to the size of this canyon and meteorite hit. Strange, but kind of cool. My next, and probably one of my most strangest items would be this. Can you see it? It is a longbow. Yes, full height. Shoots bows, arrows. It's amazing. I love my longbow. I got it for my 13th birthday, combining my love of military stuff and history. Yeah. Now, two items I would also like to share I do not have with me. We are in a temporary apartment, and so we only have stuff that we use in here. So, not everything, because we're planning on moving out of this apartment by a maximum next year. Uh, thing number one would be I have an alpaca jacket. It's like made out of actual alpaca wool and has a bunch of alpacas on it. I got it from Ecuador and it looks amazing and cool and maybe kind of strange too. And last, I have this like elephant thing. One time my, my dad, um, back when I was seven and eight, used to travel a lot, like once a month for business. And he went to India and he got me this thing where it's like an elephant inside of an elephant inside of an elephant. And it looks really cool and strange and kind of weird. Now, these are all, all these stuff they have are my stuff. Now, there are two other things that I would, I would, that I would show you instead to replace the rock and Uzbekistani coin purse if I could. One would be, um, my dad almost went on a mission trip down to um, Zimbabwe with our church. But he didn't, because he had to go for somewhere else for work. That's consolation for this, though. The team that went down there got him a Mao, a Mao warrior spear. Two ends, can't show it to you now, in storage. Two ends, warrior spear. I tried to try to get some of this stuff out, but we have almost all of our stuff is in storage, and I dug in there for about 45 minutes trying to find it, and I couldn't. So, especially the warrior spear, because it looks insanely awesome. Also, other kind of um, strange thing, I would call it, it's, um, how am I supposed to describe, to describe this? It's kind of... Just give me a second, sorry. So, it, it's, it's a soccer ball. Made out of banana leaves and trash bags and an apron and like a little corn in the middle of a, um, nut. Yeah, so it's what they use in Africa. And I was helping with a, a, a local thing at my school, and because I helped them, they gave me the soccer ball. It's made out of trash bags and bear leaves and a nut. It's, yeah, but they didn't give it to me, they gave it to my family, so I didn't think it was really... Yeah. Well, that's my strange list. I might have to make, make this video if I was talking too fast. However, if I can remain you know, calm and didn't talk too fast, then this video will be posted. Now, if Zoe can get another video up this week, I would like to give her a challenge, because it is her challenge video. However, Zoe, here 
you have only give you two options. Option one is you have to go up to seven people, random strangers, and tell them you are a Time Lord, and see how and see how they respond. The second option is you must, I, you might, or you can share one of the most embarrassing stories with the entire internet on the next vlog. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, next week I have a kind of interesting topic I would like to discuss. But yeah, and kind of funny. So, it's all for now, Zoe. Goodbye, and I will see you, hopefully, on Thursday. If you can solve your technical problems. If not, then I might see you some other day. But hopefully on Thursday. Goodbye.